Hello, my name is Denise and I want to show you today how I drew a very cute baby with charcoal. First off, I start with a sketch. Um, the sketch is by far the most important step when drawing a good picture because a sketch is always the funda foundation for a great shading and you need to get this, these shapes correctly to do a correct shading afterwards. That's why I start off with um, the basic shapes for the head and adequate um, guiding lines for the eyes, the nose and the mouth. After that I um, start defining those um, facial pieces much more and um, as you see in time I become more and more um, perfect, much more closer to um, the real person behind this portrait. Um, this baby, this baby's name by the way is Chris and he's a really nice cute fella and um, I had a lot of fun drawing him. Yeah. <laughs> um, I usually take a lot of time to do my sketches so I find really all the mistakes. Uh, not only do I leave them for several hours, up to 20 or 32 untouched, so I see um, all the mistakes afterwards. I also hold up mirrors against them so I can correct mistakes or look, to, uh, look at my sketches upside down because that also reveals a lot of mistakes. Okay. Um, as you can see, I start now with charcoal, which is um, has very intense pigment and that is why I have to apply very few charcoal lines to get really dark results. Um, I really pre prefer to just do some outlines, some contours with the charcoal and after that to go on with my um, blending stamp, um, which I use to rub the charcoal into the paper structure so the lines become darker and um, more intense and much more lifelike. Ah, here's an interesting part. As you see, I've applied some charcoal with the blending stamp, which was there before already because the blending stamp is a bit dirty. And after that, I um, went over that um, charcoal with uh, a piece of chamois leather, which gives the baby skin this really smooth look. This um, smooth look is very important, especially for babies and uh, pretty girls. Um, and this is why the chamois leather is somewhat of my favorite um, tool <laughs> next to the charcoal pen itself, of course. And um, I really frequently use it to get really smooth textures here again. <laughs> uh, as you can see here, I use uh, a needle eraser also quite frequently to do the highlights. Um, of course, such a a piece of chamois leather doesn't give you such great details. That's why I prefer to make an area much darker first and after that uh, apply the highlights with the kneadable eraser. I also use sometimes um, an eraser pen um, which lets you uh, work far more precise but I personally like the um, Needable Eraser much more. Um, by the way, it's very important to buy uh, such an eraser from a good brand because the cheap ones, um, they aren't as sticky and they um, just don't absorb the graphite as good or the charcoal in this case. A good brand rubber does that, of course.
although this is a baby, what I'm drawing, um, I'm not getting away from heavy contrasts. Um, I always feel like a picture that lacks contrasts always also lacks life, liveliness. And um, yes, yeah, sometimes I do maybe too much contrast, but I really like it this way much better because it gets more intense and I somewhat feel closer to the subject I'm drawing. Okay, um, the nose is a very uh, difficult topic topic for some people who draw babies the first time because they have so different noses from um, normal people. Uh, they have these cute button noses without a real noses bridge and yeah usually you need to emphasize uh, the nose is bridge very much with the pencil because it's such an important feature of the face. Um, a baby doesn't have that. It has its cute uh, little button there and um, the tip of the nose of course has to be shaded very um, smoothly and there has to be a very smooth highlight on top of the tip but not too strong of course so um, the nose won't look as pointy. <laughs> the mouth also um, can be a problem for my, some people because they tend to draw the outlines of the lips very heavily and that almost always looks like um, the person they are drawing wore makeup. Of course on a man or a baby we don't want that look. On um, That's why um, I usually don't do very much contours and do it by just drawing the, the lips themselves. They give this contrast because they are a little bit darker than the rest and um, therefore you can see that those are lips. You don't need the contours to do uh, for that. Um, the lips are, uh, have very thin skin layer. That's why they get those wrinkles. You can create those wrinkles just by applying a little bit of charcoal and moving the um, Band blending stamp up and down so you get those different shape, shades of grey and um, this gives, gives a very lively effect and you can after that also apply highlights on the lips um, on those places that are hit by the light more strongly. Face in general is very easy if you've got a chamois leather because then you only have to draw the contours and then you go over it with the chamois leather and after that you apply some more shadow or some highlights with a kneadable eraser and it's really a child's play so to say. And as you can see I'm really fast here. I, it doesn't take a, a lot of time to do that and it looks very great. Um, by the way, it took me about four hours to draw this portrait. And um, I think this video is played with around... Yeah, it's 25 times as, as fast as... Um, the original time I needed for drawing it. Um, of course I didn't draw it in one piece. Um, it lay on my desk I think for two days.
here I go around, go on with the uh, um, clothing. Um, I always follow a certain pattern here. At first, I um, give the shape to the piece of clothing I'm drawing by just outlining it slightly. After that, I um, apply the um, the pattern. In this case, the stripes. And after that, I go on with the shading and the highlighting. The shading, of course, in this case with the blending stamp and the highlighting again with the kneadable eraser. Uh, maybe you can see it. Um, the shading, um, the final face of the baby isn't really a lot different from the sketch I did in the beginning. This is why I put so much effort in my sketches because I um, really use them as a solid foundation for the rest of the picture. Only with a really great sketch I have the confidence to do a great shading as well. If I had to worry about um, if the eye is correct while shading, um, the shading couldn't be as great because um, I need the confidence that for example the eyes are correct before I start the shading. I need my head, um, all my thoughts for the shading while shading and yeah if the sketch wasn't great I couldn't do it as good because I would be constantly worrying then. Yeah, next thing is the, the cap, the knit cap. Here again, first I do the shape of the head, then the pattern and then the shading. You might have noticed that I really prefer to work from um, left to right as I'm a right-handed girl. <laughs> So I won't smudge at the accidentally um, the charcoal I already drew with my hand. Of course, um, your hand still might get um, a little dirty, but and that's no problem if some pieces of the paper get a bit of charcoal. You can still rub, rub that off with a needle eraser. That's no problem at all. But you don't want to smudge the eye, for example. So all your work and all your effort is gone by just a single swipe of your hand and um, it's just much more easier to um, to work from left to right than to constantly look out for your hand. For the background I just used um, my chamoy leather again and a little bit I think also the needle eraser here. And that's about it. As you can see it's not that hard to draw a cute baby with charcoal and I'm really thankful um, that you watched this. I hope you learned something today and I will be very happy to answer all your questions in the comments. Thank you very much for watching.